guys, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. It's Michelle. Well, um, this was the pour I did last night. Wah, wah, wah. Um, yeah, there was something going on and um, I switched up my recipe. I'm gonna do some test tiles on it. These are test tiles I did with the old formula. And this one is just a straight pearl pour. This one I used a palette knife with um, the formula, the colors that have the uh, pouring medium. This one has um, no water in it. I think it's got pouring medium, but I don't think it's got water. And this one also. And I kind of like these two because there is some color because this is getting all washed out and those are not pretty. Not in my opinion. So we're gonna do it over again tonight. Um, but I wanna test, this is how I do my test tiles. So I am, and I really, really like the one I did the other day. Um, this one I'm definitely going to resin or, yeah. And uh, so I'm gonna try it right now. Here is, Gonna put a little bit of the new formula, which I haven't, I'm not gonna give it to you until I know it works. So what I'll do is I'll do a few tiles and I'll come back and see how they react in comparison to the old formula. So what I do is I just, um, I put it on here and then I just put it over my, I put it over my trash bin and um, let it drip into my trash bin for this because they're small and it's easier to take less cleanup for this anyways. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is going to be with the um, thin down mix. So I'll start from this side. So thin down mix and then just stretch it. These are the same colors I used now what I did do was I added an opaque paint to each of these, to, um, to the boom gels, to make them somehow opaque works. I don't know what it is. It's just, it, it's just what it is. But apparently that didn't. So I had four ounces of um, deco art satin enamel in here. This one only has two ounces. So let's see how this works. Which, hey, that might not be a bad thing. You know, have less uh, deco art. Let's see if it sells out. I'm dripping it over my trash bin. And this is how you test things out though, you know? Um, don't waste your big canvases, even your practice canvases. Try them on a tiles first. See, see what works. Okay, it's not looking like it's selling too much, but it's early. Okay, so we're gonna take our watered down mixes. Whoa. And I'm gonna take a palette knife. I love these colors. Sorry guys, I should have showed you that. I really kind of like that. You should get the, the lacing and the cells and get, you get to keep the color too. So I haven't been um, tilting these that much. Well, that one I tilted, yeah. This one, I don't, I'm not going to. Next, I am going to... Oh, I know what it was. Now I'm using the thicker paints. Um, the thicker paints do not have the water in it. It has just, and it doesn't have Floetrol. It just has um, the paints and um, Liquitex Pouring Medium and GAC 800. That's it. 
So let me tilt this off. All right. Now, I think I, I did use a palette knife on that one. See how thick they are? One I tilted and one I didn't. Yeah, that's what happened. I tilted that after I swiped it. So let's swipe this baby. Ooh, yay. And then we'll tilt it. I'm gonna tilt it over my, my trash bin. All right. So I tilted that one out. Got to go. So the Liquitex, uh, or not Liquitex, the Artist Loft, um, now it's called Soft Body Acrylic, I think. They keep changing the name and apparently they keep changing the formula. And it's kind of messing us up. So I'm trying to be versatile and trying to be. Um, accepting because um, I just ordered two, three, four, four, four to six cases of it. Cases. I mean, there's three to a case. So I got to either make it work or send it back. And I guess right now is a good time to figure that out. Let's see, that's really, that is lacing up or um, selling up, purling up. Blech. Okay. So the thick stuff's going down. I'm just gonna swipe it. A lot of purple. This one I'll do in front of you guys. Not exactly where I was going for it. There we go. There's a lot you can do with this, actually. I might try this on this um, big canvas because we are going to redo it as I'm getting paint all over it. But that's okay. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Finger painting. Yeah, I like this. So I think that's what I'm going to go with, guys. Sorry, guys. I am using. Native Violet Purple from Boom Gel. And I am mixing that by Amsterdam Expert Series acrylics that are both opaque. The box is all uh, shaded in. That means that they're opaque. So I'm just gonna put a dab in there. And then a dab. I already put some of the, this is um, Boom Gel Mally Ringneck Glue. And then I'm just gonna put a little squeege. Whoops. Good to get it in the vessel. Okay. So those are my thicker paints. I'm adding just a bit of Liquitex pouring media, which I need to decant some more. And then I'm out here. I've got a gallon. I just like to keep it in these little, little ones. So this is kind of interesting because you can see that the paints are reacting just with the Liquitex pouring medium. And uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> Then the GAC 800. The GAC 800 is a little more liquidy, but it sometimes produces some really cool reactions inside of the, um, the cup. So we're going to give these a little stir. 
And that's our paints. Thick. Totally, totally different than what we're used to doing. I might have to put some Floetrol in here. Yeah, because it's way too thick. It's, it's goopy. All right, so bring on the flow trowel. Just putting a little bit. So now we have like two and a half ounces of paint here in each of these. These are five ounce cups. So I'm going to clean up the mess here and then I'll be back. But I just wanted to show you how I'm mixing those paints for this pour, which is all brand new to me. I've never done one on a big canvas. I've only done it on um, a little test tiles. Now it's time to try it out. Hey, it can't be any worse than what I've got going on down here. This is just god awful. I hate it. Um, it's like the, the pearls are no longer pearls. They're just boulders, rocks. Not pretty, not pretty at all. All right, guys, I'll be back with guys. I took the liberty of flooding my canvas with um, the new recipe, which is still, um, well, it's, we're testing it out right now. But we're not testing it out with a traditional pour. However, the test tile is coming along just fine, I think. I don't know. Anyhow, it might be the artist left. Dang it. I just bought so much of it. All right, we're going to try something different here then. Um, I'm going to do a swipe. is a good thing because um, the colors are blending. And there seems to be some paint on this canvas we might have to get off. So I'm not tilting like the vertical tilt like I usually do because these paints are thinner or thicker. I mean, um, I don't want to lose all that cell action here. So let me bring it back a little bit. Tilt it back and forth. I'm going to leave it like that, guys. Uh, let me see if you're straight. Yeah. Wow. I might play with it some more. I will put you on time lapse and we'll see what happens here. This is really cool, all of this color blending, but it's just starting. So 
who knows what we'll end up with. <laughs> I'll put you on time lapse, I'll be back. wish I could just tell it stop actually I wish I could could have told it to stop a little while ago 
um, I kept this lacing, but it got a little bit wonky because I did tilt it. So this is what I'm worried about, these, these guys. Um, I did those palette knife taps there. I just love doing that. I mean, it just gives it so much interest. And yeah, see, I mean, maybe, and this is with less deco art and less artist loft. That's pretty great there. I like that. So there's no um, bling bling in this one. So I always have to have bling bling bling. And um, I usually show it to you guys like this because my studio lights are a little bit, I know I've got a glare from my, my uh, phone light there. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm hoping, well, we'll see what it looks like in the morning, but the paints are all thicker, even the base paint. So, and I like this technique. I like using the palette knife to create these wonderful cells and pearls and so there we go and I like that corner too pretty yeah so I took both of those paints and mixed them together and got a beautiful shade of violet so I might be doing something with that tomorrow I've been doing a lot of resining lately it's not my favorite I gotta admit but there's a little surprise in a video up to come. Anyhow, uh, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.